He has something to say. Placeholder story item one. Riveting. You don't say. Well, I declare. Tell me more. Yo, 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 everybody. Jack B here, and welcome to a Hermit's Look at Epic Tavern. So this game is available on Steam. You can go grab it yourself if you want to play. It's available in early access. And uh, so it's kind of like, oh man, how do you explain this? It's a tavern simulator. So I own this tavern. It's Ye Old Mud Bucket, is what I have called it. And uh, so you have, um, you, you have to like keep people happy and give them the food that they need and have them spend the night if they need that as well. And uh, in doing so, that levels them up and then you can hire the guys in the tavern to go off and do quests for you so you can get more gold and experience and all that stuff and unlock bigger and better things for your tavern. So kind of like, uh, oh man, uh, like shopkeep or in a way, or like holy potatoes weapon shop, if you've ever played that, it's like kind of like that. All right, so we're gonna get on into it. Here is uh, the first one that says this patron has info on a potentially lucrative quest. So this is a new patron, we don't know what his name is. Now we do, it's Cranston Grimm. He says, oh, I've been keeping my ear to the ground. Tell me more. <laughs> Might as well get in a bit of target practice before heading out on more dangerous quests. Kill the rats the old fashioned way with an excessive display of violence. Okay, so difficulty's 10. So um, the party's combined abilities, uh, it says bust overcome, must overcome this value to have a chance of success. Uh, so that's kind of good to know. And it costs us money to do it. And it's within the tavern, so it tells us like where the destination is, right? And so now we can say, okay, we'll do it. And uh, oh, now that you have a quest, click on this heroic looking fellow and get to know him. So we know Cranston. Now there's a du new dude that we don't know. And actually, uh, we should be able to, once the, once we kind of go through the uh, tutorial bits, we should be able to zoom in a little bit more. So this is Grunson Wolfspawn. A bit noisy in here tonight. Is it always like this? Oh, I'm gonna have to watch out, man. I'll get a messed up throat. Okay, so you see us as every, uh, click here to welcome the hero. I hope you look good. First impressions are everything. It costs two AP, so action points. And as you can see up here, uh, we have 50 action points uh, for the day. And as far as I can tell, they reset every day, so you wanna use as much of those as possible. So we're gonna welcome the dude ham. Bloop. And, uh, well met, I'm Grunson Barbarian for hire. And then, okay, we're gonna hit hire. And then, uh, death may come for us all, maybe today. And he is a new adventurer in our quest. And oh, lo and behold, uh-huh, one's a hero, but two's a party. So we click on uh, this person, Mergle Flame Tongue. <laughs> Not the classiest joint I've been, ever visited, but you can't beat the prices. Now this is a floor I could see myself passing out on. The name's Mergle. Okay, so we hire. All right, so now we have like, what, a barbarian and a flame mage, I think? So he says you've got your first quest and a full roster, so go to the map. The rats ain't gonna kill themselves. I love I love that the first the first quest is like a kill, the, <laughs> kill rats. It just reminds me of like World of Warcraft, kill 10 rats. Okay, so this is your, uh, our map screen. It shows you the, uh, the quest that we're about to get in on it requires two adventurers so we will we've only got two available in our roster so we're gonna hit these bad boys as you can see we have a, a 95 percent chance of success <laughs> so we're gonna obliterate it so you can click this little go forth and then this is the uh this is the combat portion or the i should say the mission portion of things uh so it's rats chapter one uh so we're gonna clear out some rats from the cellar. Kind of exciting to engage in something so stereotypical, Mergle says, rubbing her hands together. Broom! Aha, and now an angry chittering greets the intruders as the pack of rats rushes to attack. And so now you roll, and this is how the combat happens. So it's like Dungeons and Dragons, right? That type of thing, D&D. Uh, roll your, your uh, virtual dice, and it is a success. Our heroes are able to defeat a small pack of rodents in battle, which is literally the least that could be expected. Yeah, I would say so. And uh, I'm ready for a cold pint and a warm bed, Mergle says as they approach ye old mud bucket. I think I've earned it after that trip. Yeah, I agree. Uh-huh, so we've completed it. 
Uh, we've earned some money, we've earned some experience, and we've earned some reputation. Um, I believe reputation is for the uh, uh, is for the the tavern, I believe. And then you can see up here, uh, like right now, we've just got split. We got 218 gold total out of all of that thing, I think. Um, and so we can split it between the tavern and the party. I'm gonna go ahead and just say right in the middle. That seems fine to me, right? Don't you think? And then we'll hit okay. And now that that is complete, we've done it, they've returned, we'll go back to the pat, uh, the tavern. And this shows us, uh, here is some of the tavern information. This is actually really in depth, uh, if you think about it, because like, you can look at the equipment, so here's, uh, you can get some equipment to, and armor and items to give to uh, your characters once you get that uh, type of, uh, Thing in place we don't have any items right now um, upgrades and maintenance so infirmary bathhouse but you get this when you unlock the quest right so that's kind of how the thing goes you want to keep doing the quest unlocking the things here's our roster uh, we don't have no equipment oh okay and there's the expansion so we've seen that type of stuff all right so everything's good in the hood let's go back and oh lo and behold there's seven seven patrons in the tavern and you can see they have different types of, of like lists or, or like status, right? And so some of these we never talked to, uh, but let's go talk with, with old Grunson. Listen up, I know of a jab. Tell me more. Come back with my wine. The house wine is running a bit low. Feldspar Square has, is, has an infamous and remarkably cheap wine shop probably because no one can ever find it. The shop springs up out of nowhere every day and never in the same spot. Luckily, a patron thinks he knows where it will be today. So, uh, I will take it. Boom. And then you can you can be like anything else. Uh, I was thinking about the other day, so we can listen. After killing those rats, I feel ready to take on the world, or at least incrementally large groups of rats. Oh, so let's do, let's reminisce over a drink. He has something to say. Listen, I grew up in the Badlands, and that's and I'm happy to be gone from there. And so you can see we're starting to level him up. Now he's up to 13 out of 20. Anything else? Another round, if you please, so we can offer him a drink. Ho ho! And here's the type of things that we have in stock, and the type of things like it will do for us. So like I have no idea what the mead will do for him, but we can give it a try. And does it contain alcohol? Then my answer is yes. And it went up to 16. I want to see, like, let's let's offer him another drink, right? 17, bottoms up. Let's do it again. I, I really want to see what happens, like, once we uh, once we get that, that far. There's 19. Ooh, we've got nine patrons up in the jam. And uh, let, let's maybe give them something to eat. I'll give them some stale bread. Boom! Okay. So, now, I've always wanted, uh, I've always been a skilled tracker and outdoorsman. There's nothing quite like the thrill of the hunt. Aha! Uh -huh. So, increase friendship and hire adventures to unlock secrets. So, he's now got, that's part of his personal story that he's a skilled tracker. So, I'm guessing that that now has opened up a new a new thing for him, like a new skill? Pathfinding? Perhaps? I think. I think that may be. But okay, let's go on to some of these other dude hams and see what they're all about. We wanna uh, we wanna use as much as we can, right? Well met. Ye old mud bucket, eh? Interesting name. I'm Catris. Oh, oh, and she's a paladin. I would like a glass glass of house wine. Aha. And so we get some money for doing that. It is amazing! I don't know why I never tried this. Okay. Hello, Miss Lamb. And then we're gonna come over here. Do you ever stop working? I may have blacked out once or thrice, so apologies if we met before. I am Nesnira, a level two druid. Oh, oh. I would like a plate of stale bread, you got it. So see, this is this is what you wanna do. You wanna use up all your AP, as far as I can tell. Look at this very big boy. I need several stiff drinks. A new tavern, how exciting. I'm a hunter by trade, 
and you can call me Bengar. Oh, my throat. Don't do it. <clears throat> State plate of stale bread? You got it? Mmm, this works. Thanks. Oh, yes. Alright, uh... Ooh, I'll be staying in town tonight. You have a room for me? Yes, we do. Offer him a room. Boom! Oh, and she's been thinking. So this is Mergle. She was on the last quest. Some of the adventurers I've been on uh, have changed the way I think. After killing those rats, I feel ready to take on the world. Or at least incrementally larger groups of rats. Let's reminisce over a drink. And now the tavern, oh, has gained a level. Now this is really good. Because now we can go through. So he was a level two hunter. Uh, we had ourselves uh, a level two druid and a level one paladin. Oh, dude, you need some. Uh huh. Bit noisy in here tonight. Is it always like this? Uh, why? Why do you have the thing? Another round, if you please. Oh, I thought. I thought he looked like he wanted a bed, but I guess he. I guess he does not. Okay, I want to hire this guy. Hire you. And now we have on our roster three out of three. So we've got a quest. Do we not? We do have a quest, right? Come back with the wine. Uh, requirement zero out of two adventurers. I'm going to say Bengal. And uh, let's hit old... Let's hit old, old Gru, Grusen, Grunson. And then can I use this one too? I can. Why not? Why not, right? Oh, look at this. Wanted skills. Mind and tracking. Oh, and because that guy is good at tracking now, I think, right? Or the pathfinding? Oh, that's kind of interesting. Okay, so let's go forth. Murgro purchase, uh, purchases some fresh fruit from a local street vendor. Well, fresh may be overstating things a bit. <laughs> and off they go on their little trail. Holy, holy, holy. Oh, dude, I can... I can actually go closer into the thing. That's neat. Do, uh, does this wandering out and accomplishing goals seem like a real job to you? Grunson mutters to the party. Murgle says, Grunson, have you been drinking enough water? <laughs> yeah, look, we can zoom in just a little bit. I, I like that. Holy, holy, holy. Oh, oh. The party finds a book half buried in the muck. Its pages are somehow unstained, though. Oh, give it. Yes, the adventurers are able to read the ancient text and discover it as a tome of perpetual cleanliness. Unfortunately, the spell doesn't work on anything besides the tome. Oh, pecker. <laughs> we received some gold, though, out of that. I was hoping that would give us something really good for the uh, for the tavern. Ooh, uh-huh. The party stops in Milston to pull out Bengar's map. The patron marked a few potential locations where Feldspar Square may be setting up shop today. This will take uh, this will take advantage of my clever exploration skills, says Bengar. Oh, oh. and who we did it? Oh, baby. Yeah, dude, Bengar's good news, right? Bengar points to the mark near uh, Gorn Flesh Cleaver's Butcher Shop. Sure enough, Feldspar Square has ma man, it's hard to say all these words. Feldspar Square has magically appeared at the end of the street. They head in and pick up the wine shipment. Aha! And now we make our way back. Bad things could happen. Good things could happen. Oh! oh. Merk, do you see that weird uh, <laughs> HTML that kind of pops up? Mergle hears strange sounds coming from Grunson's back. At the first opportunity, she sneaks a peek inside and finds a baby giant rat. Oh, oh. When confronted by the impromptu addition to the party, Grunson says, I know, I know. I just couldn't leave the cute little bastard there to die. I promise I'll drop it off with the next druid we encounter. Mergle grumbles, worried about yet another mouth to feed. <laughs> and we made it back, I think. No one better be sitting in my seat, Bengar says as they approach ye old mud bucket. The chairs by the fireplace have uneven legs. I'm going to have trouble staying upright as is. <laughs> we've done it. So we've got a butt ton of money and some XP. Uh, ooh, we got an oversized gavel off of that. Oh, let's go back to the tavern. Hello, hello. So now if I look at equipment... Oh yeah, an oversized gavel is equipped. Oh, huh? But equipped by who? Who equipped? Wait a minute. What, Grimson? What do you got? 
Can you equip it? Equip. Aha. Okay. So you got that one. Let me look at my roster one more time. So you've got the oversized gangle, uh, gavel, gangle, 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 and he's got the axe. Okay, so we got an up, uh, an upgrade, I think, right? Oversized gavel. Yeah, right on. Okay. So now we are back in the place. Uh oh, okay. So now someone has a quest. Oh, Bengar has been thinking. What are you thinking about, pal? You think that teleporting wine merchant? was weird. I used to hang out at a bar built on the back of a giant turtle. Oh, is he part of the Flat Earth Society? Hey, listen, I don't know if I can handle someone from the Flat Earth Society hanging out in my party. I'm not really sure. Let's reminisce over a drink, shall we? Ooh, anything else? Could I trouble you for a mug of mead? You bet. You bet your butt. Thank you so much. I feel so lucky to have found this. What, a, a mug of mead? I gave it to you, my man. Uh, okay, let's look at this one. <clears throat> Psst. I know of a way. You might uh, both make some gold. Oh, we might both make some gold. What do you say? Tell me more. Ah, the destination is across the street. And it's such exotic locations. A food vendor across the street scared a rat into his cooking fire and roasted the poor thing alive. <laughs> Perhaps out of insanity or desperation, he gave it a nibble. Turns out, rat doesn't taste half bad. Hmm. Flyers circulate claiming, bring your own rat, get the first grilled free. <laughs> okay, that seems good. What about this this guy? Oh, he wants some chicken wings. Selling him some chicken wings. And uh, so we'll welcome this guy. Dugarum Stabfist. He's a level one assassin. Okay, and then... Ooh, a level two merchant. Oh. Ooh, okay, so maybe later. Very nice. Okay, who tired? You want some soda water? Okay. Uh, yeah, seriously, you want to go to bed? Yeah, offer a room. And then you want a bed? Offer a room. Hey, we're making the money, left and right. What about you, guy? <laughs> Not the classiest joint I've ever visited, but you can't beat the prices. Yep, that's that's what I'm all about. Oh, he's another merchant. Okay, so this is really nice. Oh, Bangar is really close to leveling up. So let's see what happens with that. Let's offer him... I seek those bearing a standard, a symbol, perhaps on a shield. Two snakes coming together facing each other, but they're one. Oh, okay, let's find out more about it. Uh, we will give him some house wine. He has something to say, so speak with patron. Yes, what do you have to say? Placeholder story item one. Riveting. You don't say. Well, I declare. Tell me more. Okay, so obviously early access. They don't have everything in place. <laughs> Placeholder story item one. Uh-huh. Just passing through and thought I'd give this place a look. Okay. Uh, let's let's check out this one. House Tavern Business. Welcome, my friend. Graham, at your service. And we'll sell you some chicken wings. Now, what I want to do, uh, if we go the tavern summary? Or is it room and board? Okay, this is what we need. Um... So we sold one mug today. Oh, and we can look at everything. So we have 58 orders. Another wine. We can buy a bottle. That's five glasses. Why not, right? Uh, yep. And we can buy some porridge. And some stale bread. And what else would be good? Some mead. House wine. 30 glasses. Why not? Right? Chicken wings. Yeah, we got plenty of chicken wings. We sold two today. Okay, we can upgrade the menu coming soon. We can upgrade the lodging. We have some people hanging out in a fancy room. <laughs> this is pretty awesome, man. I like it. Now, can I do any upgrades of anything yet? The kitchen. Uh, we need unlocked by completing quest with a name. The quest with a name. Why do I have a feeling that's a placeholder as well? Perhaps. Okay, serve some mead. And let's talk about these guys. After killing those rats, ready to take on the world? Memories, am I right? Working with you has been interesting. I know a guy who used, who used to say, never forget your kills. I could tell you that that is the voice of inexperience. What else do you have to say? Whoa, man, this guy has like, got a lot to say. What is his name over here? Duragram, yeah. 
Before you get any ideas, all hits have to go through the guild. Oh, because he's an assassin. We can't have people running around committing murder all willy-nilly. Okay, anything else? And now he needs a room. Boom. Man, we're making it happen. Do you need a room? Who needs a room? Hold on. Who need room? Offer a room. Yeah! Hey! Oh, it's closing time! Out of actions. Uh, so we can assign parties and end the day. Or remain here. Yeah, yeah let's assign parties and go off on our quest. I kind of like that. So you do your little bit of, uh, you know, your tavern work. Trying to up your people. Because you definitely, like I said, you want to do that every day. Get as many people as possible. Um, and now, we're going to go to the... We're going to bring... Oh, dude, do you think the rat... We're going to bring the baby rat that Grunson is carrying. Uh, oh. Hey, we have a 32% chance of success. Why? Hey, what happened here? Hold up. Two. Two. 32. This is not great. Okay, well, I guess I guess we're going to do it. I wonder... I wonder why it's so low. Wonder, wonder what was so uh, so terrible about it. All right, we're gonna try it though. Okay, the party happens upon an argument between a merchant and a customer about the price of bread. Oh, the heroes are unable to end the dispute. The customer leaves, complaining to anyone that will listen. Okay, at least we didn't. Nothing bad happened to us. And. Oh, taking refuge under a convenient rock overhang as rain begins to pour down. This is a bad quest. The party decides to make a fire to keep warm. Mergle curses when she realizes she must have dropped her flint somewhere. No. No, no. No matter, declares Grunson. <laughs> With a determined gleam in his eye, he deftly manipulates small twigs and other found items as Mergle watches on. Many hours and no fires later, the rain subsides. Grunzen blames it on the amount of moisture in the air while shivering Mergle rolls her eyes. <laughs> We're losing really bad. Hopefully hopefully we won't lose the main, the main gist here. A line of hungry folk stretches nearly two blocks. A frazzled chef is roasting rodents at a breakneck pace trying to keep up. A makeshift sign in front of his cart reads, Quan Dooley, modern taste expert. Oh no! Bingar accidentally steps on the toes of a short-tempered orc barbarian named Gruzilla Marrow Sucker and is knocked to the ground in return. Some adventurer, she says. Maybe I'll stop by your tavern sometime and show you how it's done. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, we're not we're not making I I think yeah, returning failed. That's considered failed job. The party encounters a succubus. What? Oh, good. Thank goodness. The party beats back the creature quite handily. Thank you for giving us something. The heroes around the corner and the old mud bucket comes into view. Home sweet home. Failure. Turns out the process for making barbecue rat is as simple as it sounds. While there, the heroes clash with a barbarian by the name of Grusilla Marisucker, who promised threatened to stop by the tavern sometime and show him what a real adventurer looks like. Uh... So that's not great. That's that's not great. Now what I'm curious about, and maybe like if we look at our roster, what I'm curious about is why we suck so bad at that. Um, is it because because that particular quest needed certain amounts of things that we just didn't have the right people for? Possibly. It might possibly be. I'm not really sure. If you guys know, let me know in the comments below. But that's doing it for me for this episode, boys and girls. If you want to see more, be sure and drop a like on this video. Let me know in the comments below. But that's doing it for me. Until next time, take care. Brush your hair. I'll see you when I see you. Parsh. Special thanks to the following patrons who made this video possible. Want to join the community and support the hermit? Head on over to patreon.com slash generic B. Show <laughs> 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 <laughs>